How's it going everyone? A little bit of a different episode today, I'm going to be showing you a few tips, some great tips I've learned over the years. It's going to be 10 top tips to prevent slugs, and this is the right time of year to use them. Number one of the tips, use cloches. All of these were free obviously, they're all drinks bottles. And they've all been cut, we actually planted a lot of tomatoes in these as well, as you can see we've got holes in the bottom, but they're perfect guys. Slugs do not like going up these for some reason. You can see there's a few that weren't in there. Slug attack. Another great tip is get yourself a rosemary plant. Now these are really great for preventing slugs. Obviously slugs don't like eating rosemary. Same with a few other plants. If you have these on the edge of your garden, they're just going to smell that, they're not going to smell your tasty vegetables. Your little seedlings they love eating. Another good way, obviously, flowers. Find certain flowers they don't like. Well, this isn't lavender, but lavender is a good example. They don't seem to eat this either, so I'm thinking this might block some smell, but... On to the next. And now for the third tip, guys. This one I can't really show you. Well, I'll try and show you. I'll see if I got a little video of it. But it is get some ducks. Ducks love eating slugs. There's no chance that you're going to have any slugs in the garden if you've got a few ducks around. Obviously, like depending on the size of your garden, if you have a pond, but they are a great way of preventing slugs. Another idea a lot of people don't think of using. Brambles everywhere in the UK. I'm not sure if it's like that in other places in the world, but you see they have these spines. Basically, you line the brambles around the plants like this. It's quite hard one handed, but you get the idea. All the way around all of your plants. Oh, these brambles grow like crazy, you can cut as much off as you want, it'll still grow back. But slugs will not want to go over these. fresh grass trimmings. It's probably best to let them dry out to be honest, but you can just sprinkle them around like this. Sprinkle them all around your little plants. Again, it's just like with the, um, the sawdust. Slugs don't like stuff sticking to them. You can use loads of things. You can use sand, you can use eggshells, coffee grounds. And the good thing about all of these it's all organic and it's all going to just go back into the soil for next year. Just what we love around here. Tip number six. Check underneath all of your plant pots. For example right here. What you see in there? Slug. Little slug. Slug. I'm going to be getting them out off camera. Tip number seven. If you can, try and make your garden as hedgehog friendly as possible. You can see here, hedgehogs can easily get under here. Obviously if your garden is able to get hedgehogs, but they eat all slugs. Every single night they'll go on the hunt, and that is a good way of preventing them. You can even see here's a little hedgehog in our garden. Pretty sure he gets a nice amount of slugs. Tip number eight to prevent slugs. Now this one is also free, as with pretty much every other tip I've said about. Wood chipping. And it's easy for us because we have a fire. It might not be easy for everyone else, but 
pretty sure you can order wood chips online. If you didn't mind spending a little bit of money, they're not going to be expensive. These are a really good one. Sprinkle a little bit of the wood chips around the plant. Oh, probably a little bit more. The thing is, slugs don't like it when things stick to them, so if you have wood chips here, then slugs are going to go and walk over it and just get really annoyed straight away and then just go off hopefully. It's not worth it. Tip 9, another great little idea. Obviously slugs can't swim. So if you get a little plant pot, put it in the middle. Put your prized plant in the middle of that. There's no chance a slug can get to it. Tip number 10, the last tip that I can think of. I'm sure there's plenty more out there. Let me know if you have any other tips in the comments. Tip number 10. It's, a bit of, it's one you wouldn't have really thought of. But there's certain slugs out there that actually eat other slugs. Carnivorous slugs. They don't actually touch the plants. So if you ever see any of these in the garden, make sure you leave them there. Get rid of the other slugs. I'll show you a couple of pictures of them here so you can try and remember. But yeah, so that's the video guys, 10 tips to prevent slugs. See you in the next video. Bye.